Hi guys, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you um, this um, Bible that um, I like so much. And this is in King James Version, Red Letter Bible. This is also a special study edition. And if you can find this Bible, maybe in Amazon or eBay, get one because I'm gonna show you why you might wanna get one. Okay. The color of this Bible is dark red, almost close to maroon color. Oh, let me start with the measurement. Its measurement is, the length is a little over 9.5 inches and the width is a little over 7.5 and its thickness is one and three fourth inches okay and this is also in large print okay let's open it red letter large print the special study edition hebrew names of god indicated and explained special word meanings noted it has map section with new original study maps it's a complete red letter edition both in old and new testament old the direct words of god in red new testament the words of christ in red and it also has the topical concordance book summaries and many other helps and it was published on 1980 by Christian Bible Society. Okay. Let me show you the table of contents. I have to move fast, a little faster because it has a lot a lot of things you I want to show you in this Bible. And this is the prepays. This is the um, order of the books, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And on this page is the um, books of the New Testament um, and Old Testament, which is arranged alphabetically. And the New Testaments are indicated in italics. And it has the names and attributes of God. And it will show you which chapter you can find that attributes. And also the meaning of the names of God. Is included here the definitions of biblical terms that uh, little used today such as Baal Aviv we don't really use that today but it will the uh, all of them will be shown here so, okay Changes in spelling and word usage, Old King James, Old King James English to Modern American English. And now, the Old Testament. Basic outline of the Old Testament, history, and Genesis. And the outline of the Genesis. And then the survey on the book of Genesis and also the author of Genesis. I mean, they're saying here that it's um, with, the with the available evidence, it indicates that Moses wrote these four books. Moses is likely the author of the Genesis itself. 
And this is what I'm talking about. In the Old Testament, when God is talking here, it's in red. Okay. There you go. All in red. Okay. And also, you, you see some underlines here. When they underline a word, next to that verse, it explains the meaning of the word. Like here, for example, in the beginning, God is underlined, created the heaven and the earth. And next to that, top, next to that uh, verse, God means Elohim. And that's in plural form. As you can see, you can see the PF there. That means Elohim means in plural form so god here is not just one it's in plural form god the father the son and the holy spirit and divided meaning separated firmament you go to next to that verse it means expands okay okay again it's all the word of God in red. Same thing here. And there's something I want to show you here. I think that's in... Uh... Okay, here. In Leviticus. Leviticus 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, look at these chapters, it's God all in red except for the first verse when it's saying, here when it's saying, and the Lord speak unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, so everything here, God was the one talking, so all this chapter, all this chapter, chapter 17 14 you can see all of that in red and it's so nice that you see um when you just look at those chapters you know that it's god talking and you know god talks and um it's saying here that aaron and you know when god is talking moses and aaron were just listening so i think that's one thing that we should also do, you know, sometimes we, um, you know, just complain and ask for more, ask and ask and ask, and we wonder if God is listening to us or talking to us. Maybe if we would just listen and stop talking and hear, we would probably hear God talking because God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. If God is talking to Aaron and Moses, of course, he will definitely talk to us nowadays. So let's sometimes, let's stop talking and practice listening and hearing what God is telling us. Okay. Okay, it's all red. Okay. And now let me show you what's all red here. Let me so show you this um, New Testament. And of course, the basic outline of New Testament. And the outline of Matthew. Again, the survey on the book of Matthew. And the author. Of course, Apostle Matthew. So, and that's all throughout the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And now at the back, I want to show you this. Some of the features. Oh, of course, this is, it has a red ribbon. So, the red ribbon, red ribbon is thick. Okay. It's a red ribbon. And let me show you at the back. It's got the... For that, uh, selected Bible readings, favorite Bible 
stories like God's work of creation, Adam and Eve, Noah and the Ark, God's covenant with Noah, and it's showing where you can find that. And of course, it has the maps, the biblical genealogical chart. And you can see here, Adam and it has number one and at the bottom of this page you see Adam here it has number one at the bottom and that's the references and you can find about Adam on Genesis 1 27 to 2 19 okay it has a corresponding number where you and uh, where you can find that verse. And what else do I have here? Okay, the location of first occurrence of one hundred Bible words, such as where you can find the word altar, angel, apostles, all on its first occurrence in the Bible. And of course, it's got the, oh, let me see. Okay. The time of the patriarchs and the time of the judges. I passed something here. Oh, yeah, it's so hard to know if you pass something because the, the pages on this Bible are very thick so sometimes it feels like uh, you it's doubled but it's only one it's how thick it is okay the time of the kings united kingdom divided kingdom captivity and restoration and the captivity to the end of the old testament The prophets, the Jewish events, contemporary history on those dates, and of course the date. And we have the vegetable kingdom of the Bible, where you can, it's showing where you can find the, the hazel, almond nuts, and the mountains of the Bible and coins of, in the Bible and it has some drawings here the weights and measurements in the Bible linear distance liquid dry Guide to the laws of the Bible, forms of government, laws of the, the laws of the theocracy pertaining to foreigner, how to treat them, about uh, laws pertaining to domestic relations such as marriage, parents and child, master and servants, military laws. So even the Bible they have that before. All these things. Human laws, okay, duties toward persons such as the widows, the orphans, the neighbors, the poor, the strangers, and it will show you how to treat them. Legal procedure, methods of punishments, and methods of protection. Okay, the miracles and miraculous events of the Old Testament. And of course, the parables of the Old Testament, life and teachings of Jesus Christ, and it's got a lot. The chart, the chart of the life of Jesus Christ, and the harmony of the Gospels, harmony of the Gospels, and 
what Jesus thought. Now it's a lot of teachings here. Three, four, five pages. I think it's five, six, five pages, I think. And also the miracles of our Lord. The parables of our Lord Jesus Christ. The names and titles of Jesus Christ. That's a lot of titles. And, of course, the Holy Spirit, the titles, deity, and the works of the Holy Spirit. The detailed chronology of the Acts. This is from Resurrection Days to the martyrdom of St. Paul to destruction of Jerusalem. And also miracles of the early uh, miracles of the early church in the book of Acts. The messianic prophecies of the Old Testament and the New Testament fulfillment of Christ. So all of these um, prophecies in the Old Testament, it's Jesus Christ is the only one who fulfilled them all. And look at those prophecies. All of these prophecies and only Jesus Christ fulfilled them so those of you who are not believing that Jesus Christ is the Messiah get this Bible and read all of these prophecies and read that it's only Jesus Christ who fulfilled all of these prophecies so Jesus Christ is the Messiah Okay, the events in the Bible. Okay. And the last things in the Bible, such as six approaches to the book, six approaches to the book of Revelation. How are you going to approach Revelation? And, you know, three millennial views. Four rapture views and uh, studying Bible prophecy, the premillennial pre tribulation view. Guide to personal witnessing. Equipment of personal work. Three essential lesson, lessons in fishing methods. And the gospel plan of salvation. And of course, topical concordance. And this is how thick the concordance is. Let's look at this thickness. And these are all concordance, topical concordance. And of course, the map this map is in um, a very thick paper and also um, glossy the middle east before the flood map the origins of nations from descendants of noah and then from exodus from the exodus to the judges map major nations of the bible then and now the palestine old and new testament and at the end jerusalem in 66 a.d and that's it guys and i hope you enjoy this bible get one um i hope you will be able to find one i think you'll be able to find one especially in ebay and check out amazon too and i hope you enjoy it and have a good day everyone don't forget to subscribe thanks and god bless bye